Welcome to another edition of Coffee Talk with immigration attorney Brian D. Lerner. As you know, uh, there has been a, another state which has passed immigration laws which are given under the guise of trying to engage in um, uh, fair and lawful immigration practices, but in reality uh, they are laws that discriminate uh, against primarily the Latinos and the people who are not legal in the United States. Uh, Alabama has passed such another set of laws which you know most of these are going to be going to court and uh, going to uh, be tested for constitutionality. Um, the reality is is that the immigration laws belong under the federal uh, ambit of laws and uh, you know the the good thing about all of these states coming up with these basically racist immigration laws um, be it uh, Arizona Alabama you know the states that have done that is that it's a going to apply pressure to Congress and to the president uh, to put a comprehensive immigration bill uh, in front of uh, basically in front of the American people to pass something in Congress that deals both with fair enforcement of the immigration laws and uh, deals with uh, the other side of it as well allowing uh, people to get green cards, work permits um, all this can be done without an amnesty and the reality is is that it's a broken immigration system and that all of these states attempting to do what they can do to uh, try to make their version of let's get the illegals out of our country um, is, is just going essentially in my opinion have the opposite effect of what they want sure it's it's scaring uh, people right now it's making people uh, boycott and drive away from the states that are doing it but in, in the bottom line here is that uh, if uh, enough pressure is put on Congress uh, to get a fair and comprehensive immigration law available that ultimately everybody will benefit and everybody will be able to live like Americans in America uh, where uh, we, the melting pot of the world, that open our doors uh, to foreigners that bring in the talent and the people uh, to work uh, on both ends of the spectrum uh, will be able to uh, benefit from such a law. Um, you know, just the other day, a little girl uh, in fourth fourth grade, I believe, um, her teacher asked her to show her immigration papers. Now, I'm not sure how somebody else can view that as being racist um, because I guarantee you the little fourth grade girl was Latino and that the teacher most likely didn't ask somebody who was Caucasian uh, or another type of race to uh, uh, show their immigration papers. Can you imagine how that fourth grade girl felt when her teacher was asking her this? So let's all get together and give Congress a call to do what's necessary to get a nice, comprehensive, full-fledged immigration, federal immigration law uh, out on the table and passed so that all these states can stop making these uh, you know, racist immigration laws that really get struck down in the courts before they get started and don't do anything other than send a message that we need another immigration law to help everybody. Okay, thank you.